And so we had also taught, and mind you, I just wanted to remind you in that graph, that is student achievement in English, because that's a national study. And so the question is, how do the students fare? So um, some of our activity this year has included the addition of Cesar Chavez. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about new program expansion, but for now, um, what we have done is added kindergarten in Cesar Chavez. We're looking at Lent um, uh, for the addition of another classroom because as we discussed last time, the schools that are still um, conducting programs with one class per grade level are challenging our middle schools as far as the sustainability of our programs. And um, we have also revised our timelines and activities for what it will look like to open new programs. And so uh, this Thursday, actually, we're meeting with all of our principals to talk about what dual language is, where we have it, why we do it, and to form a subcommittee of administrators to look at the entire map of the district, where our student needs are and demographics, and to be a part of creating what is the plan for where programs would happen, which languages, and how we can best uh, serve our students. And in the past, we have not really included principals at that level of planning. And so in looking at our program startups that we've done in the past, um, at this point, Spanish has materials set up, and so we're estimating approximately $20,000. That is a very conservative figure, just to let you know. Um, that is just with how we've done it in the past. And so when we look at less commonly taught languages, the cost difference has to do with whether or not it's a program we're replicating or one we're starting new. So with the less commonly taught languages, starting new takes a lot more uh, curriculum assessment and uh, development of the programs. So um, to replicate one is a, somewhere between twenty-five dollars and $30,000. And to start a new program, we're looking at probably about 100000 And so that's uh, what we have estimated it costs to start the new programs. Um, just again, I want to uh, emphasize that expansion has traditionally included FTE people, uh, but that has been uh, funded by a grant. I'll tell you about later some of the grants that we have had. So again, principals have not traditionally been involved in expansion or new program development in the ways that we envision. And so when we look at our priorities in the future, uh, like I said, this Thursday we're meeting with principals just to give them the information and get their um, interest in forming a committee that looks at the entire district. And when we select which schools are going forward, we want to be incredibly um, aggressive in uh, uh, front-loading what those principals get in the way of professional development and their opportunity to build their own programs. And so investing in our principals and um, other leaders in central office has been a huge priority for us. So developing that committee is uh, something that will identify the schools, but then we want to send those schools to other schools, send them to professional development. So we have to make sure that when we're planning these programs, we have sustainability in mind, a K through 12 plan, because some of the bumps that we've run into is that lack of foresight as to where will these guys go to middle school or how many middle schools. And um, some of, you know, that's, that's really where we're challenged, is moving our programs up to middle and high school. And then we want to continue with the uh, quality control that we've started with our principals and our staff. We really have them actively reflecting on their programs in quantitative ways and making changes at the school level. And so um, this year, uh, the investment in the dual language program was 571.98. Uh, and we are um, asking for a significant increase. We would like to continue the activity that we've started with our principals and our leaders, as well as our teachers um, in their professional development, but we want program expansion to look differently than it has in the past. Um, so, um, 
it needs to be done in the within the context of enrollment balancing as a district all over as well as um, within the work that we're doing with um, transfer or er, enrollment and transfer policies in our lottery and so what we envision happening is we, we've started the principals are forming a small group that are looking at the enrollment and transfer policies through the lens of dual immersion and what this means and then we see ourselves either converging or at least submitting recommendations to the committee that uh, moves forward with this district-wide and working with Sackett on what that means um, because it's a big deal yeah. to say you no longer go to this school you go to that school we just really want to be thoughtful about that but I don't believe that we can continue to sustain eight or more uh, middle school grades um, trying to staff and schedule for To follow up on the discussion, you, you touched a little bit on enrollment balancing. Um, we've been pretty consistent for at least the time I've been on the board the past two years that we need at least two sections in the middle grade of each student. Right. 50 students does not get us that. Right. So why are we setting up our immersion programs to not have what we're calling a really filled out schedule, um, mm -hmm. knowing what we already know, assuming the budgets stay yeah. as they are? Um, with all due respect, that is my exact question <laughs> when I came in, and that and that is part of the reason that we did not move forward to open something next fall. It has to be done within the context of where the students are going to go for middle and high school, and part of that context has to do with all the other schools coming together. And so um, Judy Brennan of Enrollment and Transfer has agreed to co-chair the expansion committee with me because we have to have facilities and um, the folks that know about what's going on in buildings I mean I can come up with stuff and then I hear they have no room you know I don't know those parts so just having everyone at the table 